fifth speaker. He was um, Francois Francois Goet. He was yes, he was the former ambassador of France to the UAE and to Saudi Arabia. I'm surprised today he speaks very good Arabic. When he was in Saudi, he didn't we didn't know. So probably in our meetings you were, did understand what we were saying about you and we didn't know you speak that good Arabic. Uh, anyway, he will be speaking about social challenges facing our region. Please, Francois. Shukran, said the Rais. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I'm honored to be here today at the World Policy Conference alongside esteemed panelists, including my, my friend Mona, whom I am very happy to, to see after so many years, on experts to discuss the pressing economic and social issues facing the Middle East. Having served, as you rightly said, Mr. Chairman, as former French ambassador to the United Arab Emirates 20 years ago on Saudi Arabia more recently, among other posts in North Africa. I have had the privilege to witness and engage with the complexities of the Middle East. My diplomatic career in this area has allowed me to experience the region's intricate dynamics. It is from this point of view that I wish to address briefly before you the challenges and opportunities that the Middle East faces. I will highlight seven key points that I believe are crucial in understanding the nature of Middle East societies in the coming decades, drawing from my experiences and encounters in the region. First, economic diversification. It is of paramount importance in the Middle East. Many countries in the region have been heavily reliant on oil and gas revenues in the past. For instance, in Saudi Arabia, oil exports have historically accounted for more than 90% of the country's budget revenue. The recent push to diversify economies beyond hydrocarbons as seen in the Saudi Vision 2030, aims to reduce this reliance. However, it poses challenges in terms of workforce skills on creating sustainable industries. I would uh, add also, the, of course, before being in Saudi Arabia, I, I was posted in, in Abu Dhabi, and uh, the Emirates have been a pioneer in this, in this respect, in, in terms of diversification of their economy. The uh, point two is pertaining to youth empowerment. It was uh, mentioned by our friend Abdurrahman in his Mudakhala. Uh, the Middle East has, it has been said, a young and growing population. Therefore, youth empowerment is central to addressing social and economic issues. In Egypt, over 60% of the population is under the age of 30. Governments must therefore invest in education skills, education skills development and job creation to harness the demographic dividend rather than face potential unrest. This is an imperative. Point three, women's rights and participation. It was also addressed by Abdurrahman. The role of women in the Middle East, as you know, is evolving, is changing, a transformation I have closely followed, particularly in KC and also before that in the EU. Empowering women economically and politically will not only enhance social justice, but also stimulate economic growth. Reforms in family laws, Labor laws and political representation are essential. In Saudi Arabia, the lifting of the driving ban for women and the increasing participation of women in the labor force have significantly improved gender equality. Four, social and political inclusion. 
societies in the Middle East are diverse with different ethnic, religious, and sometimes tr tribal communities. For the government of those countries, promoting social and political inclusion is vital to maintaining stability. Ensuring representation and addressing grievances are key to preventing conflicts. For example, in Lebanon, power sharing agreements in the past among religious groups have been to some extent instrumental in maintaining stability and political inclusion. Although to this day, the relevance of this system of distribution of power of governments is put in question. Five, regional cooperation. The Middle East is also a mosaic of nations with complex relationships. Increased regional cooperation is essential to address shared challenges such as water scarcity, refugees, as mentioned by our friend, and regional security. Diplomacy should always prevail over conflicts. The war that is raging between Israel and Hamas, as we are speaking today, must reinforce our convictions in this respect. Six, sustainable development. The region is facing increasing environmental challenges, including climate change. Sustainable development practices are crucial for long-term stability and prosperity. Investing in renewable energy and sustainable agriculture is paramount. UAE has been also a pioneer in this respect. Saudi Arabia is also now a uh, leading country in, 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 this, uh, in this prospect. And last 7.7, 7, digital transformation. The digital revolution is reshaping societies worldwide, and the Middle East is no exception. Embracing technology and fostering innovation can drive economic growth. The United Arab Emirates, for instance, has been also a pioneer more than 20 years ago uh, when it, uh, it has established free zones like Dubai Internet City, by instance, encouraging technology startups on digital innovation. In conclusion, to, be, uh, to stay within the limits of the seven minutes which were imparted to me. <laughs> no, 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 less than you, Mona. <laughs> in conclusion, by addressing these challenges, national authorities, in a logic of win-win partnership with the West, including France, my country, but also reliable investors can shape a more stable and prosperous Middle East fostering peace, prosperity, cooperation, and a broader respect for human rights. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to for the insights of my fellow panelists. Ambassador Francois, shukran jazeel, and thank you so much Afwan, for your, thank you so much for your um, comprehensive remarks. This is uh, very much, <coughs> um, it, you know, it, it discusses the issues of the region, the challenges that's facing our region. The youth is is, a, is an issue that should be paid attention to. Um, and thank you very much for your participation.